Revelation chapter twelve, War in Heaven, King James Version. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travelling in birth, and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head, and his tail. Drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born, and she brought forth a man child. Who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God, and to His throne, and the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. And Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice singing in heaven, "Now is come salvation, and the strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of His Christ." For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they left not their lives unto their death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. And he that dwelling them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persuaded the woman which brought forth. The man-child, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and the times and half a time, from the face of the serpent, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. After the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth, and the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the. Remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. 
Revelation chapter thirteen, King James version. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and a great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wonder after the beast. And they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, "Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him?" And there was given unto him a mouth. Speaking great things and blasphemies, and the power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. It was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them, and the power was given him over all kindred and the tongues and the nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into cap- captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed, and he doeth. Great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of man, and it deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast. Which had the wound by a sword, and did live. And he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that. Hath understanding, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, 
and his number is six hundred three score and six. That's it. Thank you. God bless you.